Hi, and thank you for your interest in Content Keeper Technologies. This video is all about supporting BYOD or Bring Your Own Device. So first of all, what is BYOD? Well, Bring Your Own Device is a strategy being adopted and supported by many schools. Essentially, it refers to the ability for a student, staff member or guest to bring his or her own mobile device on campus and connect it to your school network. They can access the internet or if allowed other internal network resources all the while being SIPA or policy compliant even on their own personal device. In a K-12 environment BYOD is mainly student focused to enable anytime anywhere learning although staff and teachers should also be considered. Students are trying to bring their devices to school so BYOD is becoming a technology solution for next generation learners. Regardless of where your school is in this evolution, BYOD is a reality today because of budget constraints schools and districts face in not being able to refresh one-to-one -one initiatives. So IT is trying to take advantage of student devices and make BYOD a reality. A proper BYOD strategy allows the use of any device, enables the school to identify the user, enforce the right policies and report on the user's activities all the while without requiring a client to be installed on the device or requiring any configuration changes on the device. So why would you want to support it? Well the biggest advantage of BYOD is when users bring their own personal devices the school does not need to provide them or support them. Another advantage is the school is only responsible for child safety and what the device is being used for while they are connected to the school's network and not when the device is being personally used uh, away from the actual school's network on home or other public Wi-Fi networks. Content Keeper customers are able to fully support a proper BYOD strategy within their existing environment by using the workstation authentication method of user resolution. So let's go and have a look at what it actually looks like. To the user, a proper BYOD strategy means simply connecting whatever mobile device they have to the school's wireless network such as the iPad that we have here. When the user first tries to browse the internet, an authentication page appears like the one that we can actually see now. They can either authenticate to get to their normal web browsing policies and force an device, as you can see us doing, or if they're a guest user unable to authenticate, then they can actually be treated as an unauthenticated user with the relevant policy or blocking uh, applied to that session. So let's now look at it, how it actually works. One of the great advantages that ContiGip has as a web security appliance is that it's deployed as a layer 2 Ethernet bridge. When it's deployed in this manner, it is able to see all internet traffic from all workstations behind the actual appliance. So what we can actually do is very easily detect when a new session from a new IP address is actually created uh, and uh, able to identify the user behind that IP address using many different methods. One of the methods we do have is called workstation authentication. So what you can actually do is combine that workstation authentication username enumeration method with a primary method, such as what we're seeing here. So for example, uh, type 35 uses the Windows agent and then fails back to workstation authentication. So essentially what happens, the Content Keeper appliance deployed as layer to Ethernet bridge, sees a new user session, IP address, not aware of the or who the user is behind that IP address, tries the Content Keeper Windows agent first, which runs on the actual domain controller. If it's not able to identify the uh, user that way, so the device is typically not member of a domain, which of course a tablet or something uh, will not be, then it actually fails back to workstation authentication, which is the authentication form uh, that is brought up and shown to the actual user. So let's now go and see how I set it up within the actual Content Keeper appliance. All right, here we are at the Content Keeper dashboard. So let's go into the administration settings. And then down to users and groups. Here you can see my current method for username resolution is Windows agent only. Dropping this box down shows me the full list of all the different username enumeration methods I might have. You need to look for one that has workstation authentication such as Windows Agent and then Workstation Authentication, which is the example we were using uh, earlier. Then simply Save and Restart, which will actually restart Content Keeper. Okay, 
Now that the Content Keeper appliance is restarted, we have our username resolution method set to Type 35, Windows Agent, and then Workstation Authentication. Now to go through and change the settings for Workstation Authentication, I need to go through and uh, select to show the advanced settings, and then go into the Workstation Authentication settings. These are the different settings being used in the Workstation Authentication setting. So for example, when you're authenticating against, you can actually choose your LDAP server or a connection to an LDAP directory or local users. Authentication period is how long you're going to trust that username is still using that particular IP address. Idle time is how long it's going to rely on a session to be idle before it times it out and causes the user to re-authenticate again. You can do some uh, customization on the actual authentication page if you like. And if the user is not able to actually authenticate using the authentication page, then you can even have another policy set up for that actual user. In this case, it's going to be called the unauthenticated policy uh, and using this username unauthenticated. As you can see, BYOD is easy to set up in an existing installation and works well with no client installation or configuration changes required on the user's device. This capability is a key benefit provided by the functionality of Content Keeper Technologies running as that Layer 2 Ethernet bridge. So thank you very much for your time and interest, and I certainly invite any questions you might have to k12 at contentkeeper.com.